Hello everybody, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I'm here to do a little bit of a vlog for you. I haven't done a vlog for a long time. I'm going to be telling a joke of the day. I'm going to be talking about singing, singing lessons. I'm going to mention a really cool music video that you can enjoy. And I'm going to give a short thoughts about email etiquette. I'm going to try to do this all under five minutes. So first of all, the joke of the day. What do you do... Uh, what do you do at a golf course? What do you do at a golf course? That's the joke of the day. What do, what do you think? Golf, of course. <laughs> okay, that's your joke of the day. And uh, what I want to say second is about this music video that I found. It's about the fox and what sound does it make. And it's a really hilarious, it's probably the hottest video on the internet right now in terms of the uh, how it took everyone by surprise. And it's interesting mashup of ideas and uh, really funny. So it's... What, what can I say? It starts off as a um, looks like kind of something from a passion bit video with a rich house with people at a party wearing animal costumes, and it just gets more funny and weirder from there. And I just really enjoyed it. So click the link below. I'll put an annotation right there, and you can uh, check out that video. I recommend. Okay, finally, two more things I want to mention singing lessons. So I have been taking singing lessons from Mark Downey in Vancouver. He's currently on his honeymoon, so I haven't uh, seen him for a little while, but congratulations to Mark for getting married. It's exciting for him, and I guess he's almost about the same age as me, but he's an amazing singer, and he sings regularly at a, a pub in Vancouver called The Wolf and Hound. He sings twice a week there in an Irish band. I think it's his own band. So he's a wonderful singer. He's actually originally from Ireland. But he's taken this art of singing very seriously and studied singing through what's called the Speech Level Singing Program through the master singer Seth Riggs. Mark actually spent a few weeks studying with Seth Riggs down in the U.S. And um, Seth Riggs was also known as being the teacher for the stars. And he's Seth Riggs taught Michael Jackson for many years and Stevie Wonder and many other celebrities, and people might say, well, this sounds like a scam, like a teacher who claims to have taught Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder, it must be a scam. But I've heard practice tapes where Seth Riggs is working with Michael Jackson. I can put a link below, another annotation there, where you can listen to Michael Jackson singing with Seth Riggs. Uh, Michael Jackson's in his hotel room, and Seth Riggs is on the phone, and He's warming up Michael for his concert that evening, so it's, it's fascinating to hear. And I've been working with some of the same exercises that Michael Jackson was doing. Of course, I'm not at that same level yet. That Michael Jackson was an incredibly amazing singer, but fortunately, uh, I feel like I'm in good hands, and I'm really excited about my singing. One thing to note about singing that I realized is that the voice is like a muscle, and you have to approach training your voice in the same way that you'd approach doing weights or working out in the gym. And by that I mean you don't want to do it too intense, too long, without any recovery time. So the problem was, uh, for two weeks I was so excited about singing that I was singing every day with an extremely intense workout. And after two weeks I was just exhausted and I had to take a few weeks break because my voice was really stressed out. And today, I haven't been singing for a few days, but today I did a really intense workout so again, tomorrow will be a much less uh, intense day. I'll probably just do some more gentle exercises and, and uh, more softer singing. But I'm really excited about using my voice and training it as an instrument. And if you put in the work to do exercises with your voice according to a program like speech level singing, you'll notice that it will improve quite noticeably if you put in the work to train your voice with those exercises. So. Even though it might not sound like very much fun to do workouts with your voice, it is a lot of fun. So, I find. Because you can sing suddenly. 
working really hard for you, you can suddenly you can sing better than you did a month ago. So I've already gone up to five minutes, but I'm going to briefly talk for a minute on email etiquette, because I'm not sure if you know, but in a large company or in any organization, email is one of the primary ways of communicating in organizations that are large organizations. So it's really important to have good email etiquette. And by etiquette, I mean, there's, when you're communicating an email, there's certain things that you should think about when you're writing emails to be sensitive of other people and not offend them and not put them exposed to ridicule or shame. Because let's say that someone else does something wrong and they make a mistake. Now, would you want to email them and CC, like carbon copy, their manager, their team, and everyone else in the company saying, look, so-and-so made a mistake, and I think it's wrong, and this is why, and they did a bad job. So do you think it's a good idea to shame them by emailing everyone that something made, someone made a mistake? Well, it depends on your culture. In some cultures, shaming is more appropriate, and it's used as a tool for communication. But in North America and in, in most, I guess, we call Westernized societies, you don't want to call someone out on the mistake and CC their manager because that's really offensive and that's something one of the first things I learned when I joined a large company. I made that mistake and I did that to someone and I immediately, fortunately, I didn't get fired but um, I had to learn the hard way. So if, if you at all can take my advice and don't publicly CC someone's manager on an email that is a criticism. It's okay to CC, CC the manager if it's a compliment or something they did really well, then definitely make it public. Like you should publicly publicly compliment people but then privately um, criticize. That's I think a really good etiquette for making email much more less offensive and less worrisome for someone working in a large organization. Because you want to avoid politics, you want to avoid um, people's hurting each other through emails, because that can be seen as really offensive. So I've gone on to about seven and a half minutes. hope you enjoyed this blog. It's been a while, but uh, look forward to talking with you more. So if you want to leave comments below on any of these topics, I talked about the joke of the day, which is the golf course. What do you do, wh what do, you do to a golf course? You play golf, of course. And I mentioned that video about the Fox music video, which I highly recommend checking out. I also talked about singing lessons with Mark Downey, Mark Downey Vocal Studio, and I mentioned email etiquette. So have a great day, and I wish you all the best, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye for now. For more videos from me, please click my channel below. The website's jeffmobile.com, and my YouTube is jeffmobile. Have a great day, and uh, bye for now. See you later. Bye.